with new technology popping up every day, one local school has been taking advantage of popular inventions like 3D printers and laser cutters. For this week's In Focus, our Brenda Mack gives us a look into a fabrication lab. The sound and fumes of cutout metal fills the room of Callier Public School, otherwise known as the Fab Lab. This is the first year that we had it. We just got this big grant for a bunch of CNC devices. It's computer numerically controlled devices. The devices funded by the FIRST Technologies organization is heavily used by art class students and industrial tech. We got a laser, CNC laser engraver, a CNC mill, a CNC plasma cutter that has a router combo on it so it can router as well as plasma cut through iron. And then we've got two smaller 3D printers and a vinyl cutter. With this collaboration, students are able to first work on their ideas digitally, then transform them into a reality. This is the swing we've been working on all year. You can find Alyssa working on an art piece on most days. Mr. Nord didn't once say we couldn't do something. He was always like, that's a crazy idea, let's try it. And that I love that so much. And so we tried this crazy idea and it was a lot of work. And, but it paid off. Since being with these classes four years ago, she now has a site business in graphic design and will soon attend college for it. That's really what these classes are about. It's about um, discovering and exploring and learning what you can for yourself and learning how to be independent. You know, we, they, they're here for guidance. They're not here to just tell us what to do and we do it. Her favorite part is being able to work on industry standard programs like Mudbox that was used in creating the movie Avatar. It, it definitely makes me feel very hopeful. I'm like, I feel like I can actually do something. You know, it's not just some crazy dream. It's, it's a reality. The school's hallways also filled with artwork from past generations, providing inspiration and also an emotional connection for some students. If my biological father's name is on here and I'm like, you know, it's kind of weird because it's a piece of him, I guess, is on here and I feel connected to him, even though I don't really know him at all. My mom um, is on here, she painted that. With the school's art-rooted history and resources, the goal is to combine both traditional and new technology into the workspace. What we have been hoping to do is actually just incorporate the new stuff into a lot of the old, uh, older style of learning as far as woodworking and metalworking stuff, because that's what they're going to end up with when they go off into college. For In Focus, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. Kellier School's Fab Lab is also open to the community. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.